the new detention Foregone conclusion, current lack of inspiration Sophisticated, unpopulated Choose a television set, a color screen sensated Did you think that I was wrong? I've got a patient family Was the plan meant to go?
and I hand a man a grand uh, Still kicking on like my grandpa Still kicking on Sleep like a mom to the neon Still kicking on The kid with the motorcycle niggas on Sick a song, suck a song, sick a song, sucker If you're tougher than tough I'll take it too tight to make your own personalized Rapper illusion in disguise Now remind it, I think you're blind Let me show that when that Buddha ain't more He's rolling your feet behind it Touch it, face it, kick it When I ask you the color of the human soul You're stumped like a little wicked You're just not cricket And I can pick it a mile away Crocodile smile and sway I escape the culture But dipping into the world of the South Ultra So for she, if you wanna make come and I'm making sweet love to me And if you're the type of girl I'm doing it in me please Mary then I realize you ain't got what I need to keep my soul alright It keeps me up high above Yes may God give me sense to come question your love It keeps my soul alright It keeps me up high above Want me girl that you come give me some sweet love And in the morning time she made me feel alright Then me gotta be waiting till the day turns to night Cause in the evening time she made me feel alright Girl you got me wishing this would happen every night Said if you want to get with me girl this This is what you'll find But a man who's got the type of moves To make you lose your mind You tell me that your loving's true On each and every day You tell me that you've got the type of loving here to stay Sweet honey Get with me, 
girl, this is what you'll find. But man, I've got the type of moves to make you lose your mind. You tell me that your loving's true on each and every day. You tell me that you've got the type of loving here to stay. Sweet honey, she gonna steal my money. Sweet honey, she gonna steal my loving. Yes, you try to tell me that you're sent from above. Girl, you give me reason to question your love. Sweet honey. She gonna steal my money, sweet honey. She gonna steal my love, and yes, she try to tell me that you're sent from above. Girl, you give me reason to come question your love, sweet honey. She gonna steal my money, sweet honey. She gonna steal my love, and yes, she try to tell me that you're sent from above. Girl, you give me reason to come question your love, sweet honey. She gonna steal my money, sweet honey. She gonna steal my love, and yes, she try to tell me that you're sent from above. Girl, you give me reason to come question your love, sweet honey. Um, growing up with Bruce is very inspirational. He still is today. You know, I look at what he's doing all the time, especially in the bigger stuff like Tahiti and Hawaii. You know, we push each other. You know, without each other, we wouldn't, I don't think, be where we are. When we're surfing waves of consequences and stuff, we can give each other tips that we know we trust. When he see he's in the lineup, I will push it a little harder. And if something happened, he would, like, always be there, like, look, hey, did he come up? Like, belief in, like, Jesus Christ and everything like that. And if I end up dying, then I'll go to heaven.
when I was a kid, 12, 13 years old, I have not even shortboard, you know, I, I write a uh, broken board, like some tourists have broken 6'2", fix it, you know, I wrote this kind of board. I'm almost 28 this year, and yeah, now I'm married last year, and I have a kid, I have a new house, and we have my own family now. The old Australian teach us how to surf, and you know, 25 years, 30 years after, you see how many Kuta turned like a young Waikiki, you know, like crazy. We, we are lucky, you know, we, we are live where people are having holiday and, you know, people pay thousands of dollars to come to Bali to have relax and to, you know, have a good life. And we live here. Bali just somehow like raining of money and you know, every day is money because tourists here and then suddenly bomb and all the tourists gone in one day. Kuta was like a ghost town. I want to give an example to the uh, next kid, you know, they, I, want to, I want them to see me, who, who I am, uh, how result successful from surfing. Imagine like 20 years from now, how Bali going to look like, you know. around like that won't drive me crazy um. but why would i want you when it's plain you're not ever wanting me well my whole life all i have was to say guitar never gonna be lonely when i'm live as music in my heart never gonna wanna be something now i'm not say you're older i'm gonna be happy with what i got cause i got music and it makes me feel all right Get to see music, and it helps me ease my mind, oh. Cause I got music, and it takes away the pain, oh. Got to see music, and I got it every, every, every day, oh. Come on. What mainly got us going out to the island was Travis. He was so overpaying the ridiculous charter price. He was just like, you know what? I'm gonna camp on the island. I don't care. I don't care about malaria or anything. And we just charged it. Around September, we saw the swell on the internet and I was just flopping to get out to go. And I grabbed Travis and Brett and we got on a flight that night. Pretty much, we were bringing potatoes, rice, noodles and that's it finally when we arrived to the island it's like all right it's time to load up so we'll put four surfboards together tied with leashes and stick our tarp our tent our chickens sometimes we bring goats out there and we'd have to sneak through this little channel and load it on the beach and sometimes you get caught by waves and everything gets wet Last couple of years, it was pretty much just us. But this year has been really different because a lot of boats were coming out. We'd surf with them, and then they'd invite us on the boat, and we'd get to eat and drink beers with them. Those waves out there, you could easily break your neck or pop your shoulder out. The right, it's like only two feet or three feet. As soon as you drop in, it just starts growing and growing and growing. And by the end, it's 10 feet face solid, and you're just stuck. And if you make it out, you're a legend, but none of us really made it out. Say, did you see us? In the background of the crowd on the TV. On the summer stage, we go and catch the morning waves. Hanging out with my friends in the vodka. Only they okay just like I don't remember rainy days when I was small. No, I won't remember hatred on the finger out. Cause I got music and it makes me feel alright. Got this hear music and it helps me ease my mind. Oh, cause I got music. 
sick and it takes away the pain. I got the same music and I got it every, every, every day. Uh, no temperamental advice and I'm not wasting all my time and I am looking for the truth in this and I don't know just what I get just what I get cause I got this in music and it makes me feel alright got this in music and it helps me ease my mind oh I got music and it takes away the pain. I got this here music and I got it every, every, every day. Oh my gosh, plans I feel amazing. first heard I was going to be a dad, I was pretty much ecstatic. So it took a while to sink in. Kind of after that, I felt good. Hey, out of the shot, dog. I'm up early and I check the waves. If there's waves, I go surfing. Just predominantly right after right after right. I got a really good home life. I kind of just enjoy being at home, you know, a lot. To have Monica and the, and the dog and everything it definitely gives me a purpose. <laughs> Um, winning bells was definitely one of the best days. Felt really relaxed and really enjoying the surfing then. Uh, my name's Damon Eastor, uh, age 39 and I'm a winery manager. But Dad bought a ski back in 96, so that was about the time that there was some videos coming out from Laird's group. I think one was called Strapped. We were always hunting bigger waves, and it kind of
kind of change the places that where we wanted to surf. In the past, if there was ever a big swell, the only place I ever wanted to surf was North Point. But then uh, as I started surfing more in Margaret River, and was a few out of reefs there, I'd been paddle surfing with uh, Mitch and Courtney. It was always a bit of a dilemma as to surf North Point or that wave when the swell got up. And as, as North Point became more and more crowded, we kind of changed our focus to those out of reefs and we went for jet ski. Uh, comparing it to paddle surfing, we'd go out there and we'd get so many more waves and we'd have a much better time and there'd be no one basically out there. So kind of gave North Point a, a bit of a miss. Still um, love paddle surfing and still do as much of that as I can. That's still part of the um, big about surfing is paddling into a wave and taking the drop, that feeling of not knowing whether you're going to make it. I remember it was um, getting a call from Rick. On the way down there, I saw Taj behind me and he texted me and said he was going to the same place. Really good day, it was perfectly offshore and the waves looked um, really, really good. I remember the set came and I'd kind of snuck inside Taj and looked like he was going to have a paddle for it as well, but I turned around inside him and I thought I was into it pretty well, pretty early. I pushed down it pretty hard, got to my feet pretty good. But when I got to the bottom, it was so much curve on the bottom, the nose kind of grabbed and held me for a bit before I could set my rail, do my bottom turn, and then thought I was actually under the lip line. And as I was pulling up into the wave, I actually was perfectly in line with the lip. As soon as it hit me, it just compressed me onto my board like a sandwich and I could feel both my knees just pop. And then I've had that telltale feeling when bone rubs against bone, I knew instantly that I'd broken something. Lifetimes. 2001, we, um, we'd been watching um, a wave maybe two and a half k's offshore. It was so far out, it was hard to tell if it was just a big flat burger and whether it was even worth surfing. Uh, I remember taking out my normal board, I think it was about a 610, didn't have any straps on it and we just thought if you know if there was something out there we could ride it.
I love Mick Funny. I love Mick Funny. <laughs> I love Mick Fanning. <laughs> Mick Fanning, 23 years of age, Gold Coast, Australia. Yeah, last year, went and did a lot of stuff that I normally wouldn't do. Went to a, uh, a soccer game in Spain, and uh, when we rocked up to the soccer game, there was no one there, and we're like, we at the right place or whatever, you know? Two minutes before the game started, the whole joint was sold out. South Africa, you know, to be in the middle of the city, you know, on this massive flow ride of this man-made wave, and then travel an hour and a half away and then we are in total isolation chilling out with these tribes and see how they work on their land how they slaughter their cows for their feeds and stuff like that how to scull their zulu beer it's just such an awesome thing to see because you just totally appreciate what you've got and then you totally appreciate what they do as well you know it's really awesome
I grew up on the coast in Midwest, Western Australia. Little quiet fishing town, not much really happens there. My old boat sort of got me into surfing when I was about five years old. When I'm at home, I wake up at probably eight o'clock in the morning, ring up Kirby, see what he's up to, and surf for a couple of hours. The old boy definitely motivates me to go surf and heaps like just frost to go tow in like any day like sick just having the old boy out there hooting you into some waves. I was always going to be into surfing but I didn't know I'd ever be able to make a living out of it. Once there was a boy, yeah, he was kinda shy When he met a girl, couldn't look her in the eye Falling for someone he doesn't really know But he melts when she smiles or waves hello Once there was a girl Kind of 
kind of shy, but he gathered up the courage to go and say hi. Standing round the corner, looking intense, she turns and says to her friends, He seems pretty nice, yeah, he seems kind of cute, but I'm starting. Trust has led me, but I doubt the cross to success fulfill me. Same old Lord, my diamond and sell it go. Fill the garden full of broken dreams. It ain't the same anymore. Now if we even want to be, separate the flowers from the sea, drown the microphone and make it bleed. Escapade, but it's the drugs to the job, then maybe it'll all fall into place. You're in old fashioned things, a new fashioned way. Well, you things won't say.
trust has led me But I doubt Across the success will fail me It's the same warlord by diamond and sell the gold Fill the garden full of broken dreams It ain't the same anymore Now if we even want to be Separate the clouds from the sea Drown the microphone and make it bleed Eat out all the syllables inside of me You never know where they could lead You never know where they could lead Never know where they could lead No, no, never know